Hey guys, it's Caleb here. Um, I'm packing for a trip. I'm going back home to see some family and then going to Costa Rica to speak in an event. It's interesting because Joel, uh, my content guy, um, is phenomenal by the way. And we, we, we have all these grand plans and he just had a kid and so he was off for two plus weeks. And I had, I had to film five videos and I filmed zero. <laughs> and, and he knew it too. He was kind of like, Caleb, like, uh, how many videos did you were you able to get done? And I was like, I got none of them done. And we had a beautiful conversation and it really was around authenticity and filming something that you're proud of. And I've kind of been in this place where it's like, okay, I know that if we do a life insurance video, people are going to watch. I know that we, if we do, you know, an interview, interviews are hit or miss. And, and it's interesting because there's, there's like, there's a, dichotomy between making videos that you know that the algorithm will like but then also playing the long game and saying I actually want to make videos that I want I want to follow my curiosity I want to like do this because I know because I know on a micro level when I have conversations with people that's what that's what people tell me like that was so life-giving like I love that so much so I know on a macro level if we have enough at bats it's gonna work um and so it's one of those things where it's like, but then if you do that, you know, what do people think? And there's just, there's, you know, a lot of times you can be in your own head. And so I, I share this all to say that um, I think the, the lesson is, and, and really the accountability here is, um, as I'm in my closet, um, is don't settle, like truly do what you're curious about. If people say, follow your passion. I would, I would be really careful about that. But like, what do you love talking about? What gets you excited? What do you feel like if people need to hear? What do you, what do you feel like you have that can make a difference in the world? If you have that, you have a moral obligation to share that. And so, so for me, I've been become, becoming more clear that I'm not going to hide from life insurance and tax strategies and wealth efficiency. I'm, I'm insanely passionate about that. And I want to talk about wealth efficiencies and life insurance and, and tax strategies because as a result, if those are done well, you'll be able to live more intentionally. And intentional living is the metric for me. With that said, I also want to talk about some business philosophies. I want to talk about some mindset shifts because um, I've had some amazing opportunities to invest in companies, to meet people, to make you know wise money um, decisions. And I've also made mistakes in every one of those areas and I feel like if the goal is to help people live more intentionally is to unlock intentional living. Yes, we need to talk about the, you know, case studies in life insurance and how internal rate of return works and tax strategies and wealth efficiencies, like love that. And when I get asked to speak, I'm probably going to be giving my wealth efficiency talk. I love that. Don't get me wrong. And there's such a need to say, okay, what is the mindset behind that? What is the mindset behind that? One of the things um, that I had the opportunity to do was over five years ago, I, I created a, an audiogram and the audiogram simply was talking about this concept of value leveraging. I was talking about um, my future marriage. I didn't know April at the time. I was talking about this book that I wanted to write, which ironically is in this year. Um, I was talking about a lot of things and it was so cool to look back on that and say, wow, like um, that was that was cool to witness that. And a lot of those same principles and mindsets are even more true today than they were five years ago for me. And um, so, yeah, I'm just I'm sharing the there's many lessons here. I think this is number one announcement to say there might be some other videos uh, that come out. And just please be honest with me if you're like, hey, like just talk about this subject, like let me know. I will also remind you that we have an and asset channel. So if you just love life insurance, we actually have a whole channel for that because I know that that's a hot topic. Um, but I also know that um, I also know that I'm going to die someday and I want to make sure that I leave it all on the field. And it would be a shame if I go through life trying to audit myself um, and hold something back that could make a difference. And, I, and, and it can also go the other way. I mean, you can be not self-aware and create content that's like, wow, this is actually not providing any value to the world. And as a result, you're just not being self-aware. And so I think um, I'm sharing this video because I want to be self-aware, but I also want to make a difference. And I, and I desperately want to start shifting some things that I really believe will take our channel, our message, our, our relationships to the next level, um, but might 
had some growing pain in the process. Love you. Hey, it's Caleb Williams here. I want to thank you so much for watching till the end. Obviously, we want to be the one-stop shop for every financial decision. And part of, of that is, is creating great content. So liking, sharing, subscribing, um, just help other people find this channel and get introduced to better wealth. We have a lot of things going on. So whether you have questions about the and asset, the x-ray, you want a wealth efficiency quizzes or any anything else to help you with your money, check out the, the bunch of links below. And if there's anything that we can do to serve you and help you live intentionally, we're in. And I just want to, again, thank you for watching our content.